Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. Jerry just sold his Ford Ranger and got this 2001 Chevy Suburban. Before he converts the Suburban into his camping and towing vehicle, he has a lot of work to do. Hey, Jerry, how are you? Good. What day are we on? Of the working on the truck? Yeah. Day two. Day two of the truck conversion yeah. and maintenance. This is maintenance, right? This is like maintenance, restoration. More. Restoration, that's a good way know, of putting it. I don't it. know if that's the right word. Basically, uh, yesterday I took off the hitch, and I got the spare tire out, and the mechanism that it hangs from, it's like a little cable-operated hoist. Kind of lowered. Yeah, so th I got those components out, just connected the wiring from the back end, got mm. it out of the way, and then I've been scraping, wire brushing, scrubbing the frame, getting loose rust, and the GM puts a wax coating on their frames from the factory. Which is weird, doesn't really particularly work very well. Oh, that was 20 years ago. Yeah, and this one was exposed to salt water, I think, from launching boats. So we don't normally have a huge rust problem here with frames, but this one's pretty rusty surface-wise. I was going to strip it, um, treat it with uh, a rust converter, uh -huh. and I've changed my mind after spending many hours yesterday scrubbing the rust and realizing that I was going to be down there with a degreaser or diesel fuel to get all the wax residue off and I've decided that I don't want to do that. So the simpler option and it's a good option is to tr to get all the loose corrosion, loose wax coating off and then I'm going to go after I do the suspension and the brakes on the front and the back so it's getting all new suspension and all new brakes. Um, the frame will get treated with a lanolin-based product. I'm going to go with a product called, uh, it's from PV Blaster. It's called Surface Shield. And I've ordered a bulk gallon and a professional sprayer and even a graphite powder to color it black so I can spray it on the frame and it looks black, not shiny rusty, which is what it would look like with the clear. So it won't look as weird. It'll look fine. It'll look stock. And I don't have to degrease anything. I just got to get the loose stuff off, blow it off with air, move on with my life. <laughs> so, but I still have to do the, the scraping stuff. And I'm just doing that while I'm waiting for parts. You can see all the open Amazon boxes and some stacks of parts. And there's parts over here. Um, so there's... Oh yeah, there's stuff over yeah, here. It looks like pizzas, but it's stuff, not. And, I, and I've got... <laughs> My garage is a mess right now. I, I need to clean it and organize Milwaukee. it. But I've got brand new Milwaukee tools, which are amazing. And I've got, I mean, there's suspension components in there. There's springs. There's a lift kit on the bench. Uh, let's see, what else do I got over here? Um, brake calipers, shoes. Front suspension parts, tie rods, inner and outer, idler arm, idler arm bracket. Rear tracking arm. New Bilstein shock for the back. The fronts are on their way. These, oh, these are lower control arms for the back. Four new disc brakes. So I've got thousands of dollars worth of parts waiting to go on that. So when they all show up, it's all going to get tore apart. But I don't have to degrease the bottom now. I can just do this work, remove and replace everything, go get it aligned, and then spray it. <laughs> and just have to do it every year. It doesn't take much. And I'll have all the equipment. And that should keep the rust at bay. And then my plan for the stuff that you can actually see, like the rear end, mm -hmm. the axle, the lower um, control arm, front control arm, rear control arm, the part of the frame that you can see, I am going to treat that and paint it so that cosmetically that stays black and it doesn't look all rusty. Um, and that's, I guess, a little vanity more than being practical. Well, it's got to be pretty cute. Everything's well, got to be cute. It'll look, it'll look good. Uh, you know, while you're driving behind it, it's not going to look all rusty. So, but today, 
more scraping. More scraping. And I didn't even get any video yesterday of the scraping. So. There's not much to see. I'm laying on my back. I'm covered with dirt and rust powder. And there's a scraping noise. So you can see where this is that wax coating I was talking about. And it's intact uh, in some places. And in some places it's not. And so I, I really didn't want, I, I just didn't feel like uh, sitting down here with a bunch of diesel fuel or degreaser getting us off here. And it would be largely for cosmetic reasons. The lanolin based product, uh, whether it's surface shield or wool wax or what's the other one? Fluid shield or something like that. Anyway, though, any of those will work. And uh, you don't have to endure the degreasing and, and I wouldn't be able to get all the wax off anyway without doing a frame off and that's not an option anyway and I don't want to I'm just scraping you can see I've got you know there's some there's some silver right there where I've gotten the wax off that much and it's getting the loose stuff it's really dirty kind of miserable work um, but it'll be worth it to get it all cleaned up and preserve the vehicle uh, in the state that it's in and that will be the goal, is just to keep it from corroding anymore. And it should last as long as we need the vehicle to last. Until we're ready to make a, another change, whatever that might be. But, yeah, it's solid. Surface rust. But dirty. It's a dirty job. Not fun. So, time for me to get started. I can do that in the winter. What are you taking off? The bumper. Oh, the bumper. The bumper's, the chrome's in pretty good shape. Uh, but it's rusted on the back side. I'm going to take the bumper off and then take the bumper apart and treat it yeah. and then paint everything and put it back together. But right now I need to get the frame scraped and move it on with that reality. Which I probably need to do is like have a what we call fod trays where you, you just throw your tools in them and keep them from you know, migrating all over the doggone place. Yeah, don't you have little trays that you use for screws and stuff so they don't go and get lost? Yeah. You I need do. a little bigger ones for your tools, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh well. They don't need to worry about it too much. Right now I'm cutting my... I needed to drive my truck last night and it had all this wiring hanging loose. So Pando is to the rescue. Time to scrape. Time to scrape. You got a mask? Mm. Let's scrape it again. There we go. Day three, working on the Suburban. What do you got? I have a big red Suburban. And? It's in my garage now, taking up most of the space. And what are you gonna do to it today? Today, I'm going to tear apart the aft end of the suspension. My hope is to actually get the rear end all the way out and I'm going to try to pick it up and carry it to the backyard, put it on some jack stands. This is just the, the rear axle assembly so that I can scrape off any loose rust and start rust treating it so I can paint it up and make it all pretty. And if I get farther than that, then I'm going to start taking all the suspension components. They're all locking. They're all locking. What does that mean? Normally you put one locking thing on. Yeah. Every last one of them is a locking one. Why? Because someone's going to steal these good wheels. That's why. You're asking me a question. I do not know the answer. They're to. all locking. Oh my this gosh. All right. That's fine. All right. I'm trying to get these off. Uh-huh. 
Look at that. Two. You got two off? Yeah, I mean, all, all the lug nuts are loose except for the one that snapped the cap off. So I'm going to take that wheel off, take all the lug nuts off so that I'm down to that one lug nut. And then I got to figure out how I get the tool because I've got about oh, three quarters of an inch that's actually on the threads that's remaining. You got the rear end out. Yeah. The, uh, I get, what I'm wondering about is it, I've got a lot of pinion slot. I don't know what's normal. I'm definitely not a rear, you know, expert on rear end. I don't know what pinion slot is. So this is the pinion. Yeah. Okay. Sticking out. Yeah. And it's got a lot of slop in it. Huh. I, mean, I didn't hear any noise when I was driving and everything. Yeah. So I'm trying to, I have to find out if I need to get this rebuilt. Yeah. I think it's I my mean, fourth no. day of filming, but it's probably day five. Yeah. So what is, what's the agenda today? Cleaning on the back part of the frame. Trying to remove the GM frame wax as much as I can. I'm not going to get too crazy on it, but in areas where I can access it, I'm getting the frame wax off and cleaning it. I want to treat the rust, the surface rust, and then I want to paint it. How dirty, nasty is this job? It's terrible. Like I'm disgusting, even with coveralls. I mean, it gets down my sleeves and I had stuff in my underwear, like chunks, black chunks were made their made their migrated to my underwear. Oh man! <clears throat> so it's not, it's a really thankless job, but it's you know it's not a it's not a career. <laughs> That's good. And it's for my it's for my vehicle, so I'm willing to do it. But it is messy and loud and. Uh, not really fun. No. So if I want to get to the fun stuff, I've actually you know, put it on the new suspension parts and the big 4x4 four four tires and rims and all that. I, I gotta get through this. Well, I forgot. Where's the uh, rear end, did you say? Oh, well, the entire suspension has gone off the back end. Yeah, where'd it go? Um, the rear end went to differential shop. So they're gonna inspect it and repair anything that needs to be repaired on it. I don't know enough about rear ends to authoritatively speak to it, but it sure seemed uh, like it had a lot of pinion play. Mm. I mean, you could click, 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 and I could hear it when I was going into gear, either reverse or forward. I could hear it chunk, 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 chunk in the back end. It's probably original, 220,000 miles on it, so got their money's worth out of it and uh, with all the work that I'm doing to replace the entire suspension uh, and brakes I thought well I'm gonna feel stupid if I'm on my first trip and the rear end has some sort of catastrophic failure with all the pretty new parts on it and I didn't take the time to fix it so I'm glad that I'm doing it. It's gonna be expensive it won't be cheap but you know hopefully it, it lasts as long as I own the vehicle and I don't have to do it again. And the, uh, the limited slip uh, action of that rear end was completely gone. I, I don't know exactly what the, the GM limited slip, what his design is, but when I was playing with it out of the car, I mean, it, there was no limited slip action. It was just an open differential, so it was completely worn out. Mm. So, you know, I, I, I do want that feature on, on my 4x4, so... Hi. Hi. Day five okay. that I filmed. <laughs> sure. uh, I'm uh, continuing to remove loose rust, wax, grime, and dirt. It's a little dirty. It's super dirty. It's I, yesterday. I didn't clean up at all after I left. I literally stopped. And this just, room is no longer usable. It isn't. Except for what I'm doing, and I'm hoping today to be done with. What's that, that rusty thing over there? That's driveline. Yeah. That rear driveline. <laughs> Don't need it. You have no rear end. 
uh, I don't have a rear end and I'm going to replace that. So I'm getting a, a brand new one. So what are you doing today? I'm continuing to clean. Um, Mostly this waxy, rusty stuff off. Yeah. There's some dirt. The, well, there's a lot of dirt. And I'm, you know, as I, as I encounter the packed in dirt in the corners, crevices, I'm digging that out and it, it falls on top of me because I'm laying on the floor. So that's uh, awesome. It's just a miserable job. I mean, yeah. I, I am not enjoying this part. If I had the space in an actual shop, I would probably do a frame off and it would get really stupid. But nope. But now I'm just for a medium grade stupid. All right, what are you doing right now? Uh, staring at this, wish I was doing something else. <laughs> you look uh, a little no. dirty. Uh, I get dirty just putting, I mean, because I'm laying on my back, that's my pillow. Right? I'm, I, I've got a block of time, five hours. I'm going to work for five hours straight, and then I'm done. I'm hoping to get to the point today where I've got all the visible wax and coating off and everything that I can reach reasonably clean and tomorrow I'll degrease everything and let it dry then I'll start dusting. You, what do you got going on? I'm tearing apart the front end now. While you're waiting on parts? Or no, you're waiting on um, labor. Well, I mean the, the rear end I need but I, I don't need it now because uh, so the entire rear end is still disassembled. Um, Surface treated all the rust. Yeah. I uh, the rust converter. I, I got a little aggressive with my cleaning and actually removed some of the primer coat that it creates. So I had to uh, retreat that last night. I rinsed it off again and gently wiped it down. So it's drying. The entire floor was wet about an hour ago. Oh gosh. Because I literally hosed it out. Um, so that's better dry, and then I'll start uh, painting oh. the rear end. Yeah. Uh, and so, you know, I'm shifting front to back, and, and I've got the uh, passenger side suspensions all tore out on the other side, right? Yeah. So the only thing left on that side is uh, tie rods and idler arm. Uh, so I just started on this side today, took the inner fender out, so I have a lot of access. I just got the brakes off. And I am getting ready to remove the CV axle and the uh, front wheel hub assembly. No. So that's what I'm doing. I'm slowly picking this thing apart. You know, and then once I get this front end together, hopefully I'm at a point, or this front end tore apart, I'm at a point where the rear end is painted and I can start to assemble it. And then I get hopefully get my, my rear end back from the shop. I've not received a phone call from them even, but they told me they were busy. Yeah. I mean, they they, they said they were stacked up, and uh, so I'm not super concerned about that. My timeline initially was to October 15th because that's when I have an appointment to get the tires put on the new rims. I'm not going to make that, so I'll probably end up having Bob next to the neighbor and drive my rims over. Drop them off, get them mounted and balanced, and then just bring them back. Today's the fifth. So roughly ten days. I'm just not. It's not going to time out. Even if, even if I had the capability, which I really don't, because I've, I've this is the first time I've ever done anything this extensive on suspension. So I've got to, and I'm taking apart a lot of different systems. So I got to be really careful to remember which I throws and all that. Even if I had the capability of doing it quickly and properly which I don't, so I have to be slow and ridiculous. Um, I've got a, I'm gonna do the same thing on this end of the vehicle. The middle of the frame, I can do at any point in time. Yeah. But while I have everything kind of stripped off, I'm gonna scrape the, the old factory wax undercoating off, treat the rust, and paint it. Well, I know that that's, that's a five to seven day process. So, I won't make it. <laughs> if everything was here waiting, I wouldn't make it unless I just want to slap it back together. And I don't. I, I want to. Uh, I want to treat the surface rust so that it looks looks bad. Probably could be more like end of the month, end of October, before I'm scheduling a an alignment to be know, assembled. Get vehicle. everything. It'll it'll be back on the road. I I'm guessing about that time. Ha Halloween, I'll probably be in here finishing up. 